On the 14th and 15th of September, 35 Earl Page College residents from the University of New England will run 220 kilometres from the university to the jetty at Coffs Harbour. A charity program isn't always a strong feature of a university college life and that's where it's been wonderful in this college. So the Coast Run is integral for us because the um, Children's Medical Research Institute where the money raised goes to uh, is something which we like to see um, prosper. Helping children and working with prevention that's what's going to make the most contribution. $30,000 raised this year which is to be something to be congratulated on. When, when you think of the amount of money that's raised it's an eclectic group of students coming together to raise it. It's a fabulous thing. There's a few things that I think are big about this. The tradition is one of them. that has been going for 28 years. Started off in tents. Originally we used cars. When we started we you know, were raising around the thousand dollar mark. Now the Coast Run has really become an enterprise. Not just the Coast Run but we've got the fashion parade, we've got the auction. That's usually our biggest revenue maker but uh, discount cards are going to be hard to beat this year. In the interim of the Fashion Parade, I actually have organised for a couple of items to be sold. Just a little precursor to the big event. It's going to be so much fun. We also have Coast Run Cup and inter-college events. As part of the fundraising, an annual fashion parade is held in which students model clothes borrowed from local fashion outlets. It's four days away now and there's still a lot to do. I've got 90 models. So coordinating all of them, just getting them all in the one spot, getting them all fitted even like it's hard to run around after all of them. I've got to do all the programs tonight. I've got to sit down and sort out all the tickets. Tomorrow we're setting up all day. And then on Saturday we're having all the model rehearsals. So it's going to be really full on. It's wanted to be a part of something that has a really huge reputation. You're up there and doing it and running around backstage getting dressed and it's just all very exciting. The fashion parade is not all that's exciting. The run's the most rewarding part. Apart from the 5.30 starts, I think it should be pretty good. It's a good time just to show your fitness and see what you're really made of. I'm really looking forward to being in the dream team. The dream team consists of six runners who start before the main group of runners. They run five kilometre legs in pairs before resting, then getting out and doing it again until the other group catches up. Support teams are also necessary to pull off the coast run. We're supporting the runners, giving them food, getting all their stuff down to where we're staying, setting up the hall for them. I'm there uh, at all different points, buying the ice creams and making sure bits and pieces are happening at the right time. I'm here to officially launch the coast run. I ran the first leg from college into town. That was about 5Ks. While the Dream Team runs, the other runners enjoy a breakfast in the park, supplied by sponsors New England Credit Union, before heading off themselves to run relay style, one kilometre at a time. We get dropped off at certain points so that when the runners come, they tag you and then you keep running. Out here waiting for our leg to start, we'll probably be here for another 20 minutes. It was really invigorating and painful at the same time. And... Invigorating my arm. Um, that was the worst leg of ever running Coast Run. Physical pain is prevalent. There's been no real incidents, so it's good we had a couple of people roll their ankles. Uh, just running along the road and bitumen dropped off a bit, bit of a sharp edge and I wasn't looking where my feeding was going and I slipped and jarred my ankle. Got a groin strain on Monday, so I'm sort of wondering how well I go. The first stop is for lunch, 60 kilometres into the journey at Ebor. As the students eat and rest up, a group of eight runners head on. I am doing precious sprints. I am doing precious sprints. The sprinters run legs of 200 metres for the 10 kilometres from Ebor to the turn off to Dorigo. Precious sprints. That was heaps of fun. I'll always carry that feeling of I'm running here, but there are 20, 40 people in the bus behind me cheering me on and uh oh here's an uphill and it, the cheering just gets louder. This hill that we're about to run up would probably be the worst thing that we're going to have to do today. The scenic 22 kilometre Deer Vale route gives an opportunity for everyone to get out and get their kilometre count up. It's probably one of my favourite bits too. Because it's just, you, yeah it's so nice. It's, it's just my favourite bit. I'm, yeah. I've been like hyped up for it ever since I got in Crows Run. Right? Looking forward to getting out and doing 15Ks. It's going well. Pretty good. Sore calves but it's good. Loving the bird, <laughs> racing the bird. I've had a stitch for the last kilometre or so. I'm going pretty good out here, but downhill's easy. As the sun sets on the first day, the runners all head into Dorigo for dinner at the Dorigo Hotel before getting a night's rest in the Dorigo Anglican Church Hall. 
The next morning, as the dream team heads off to start day two, everyone packs up before heading to breakfast. Because I did 44 k's in one day, it just kind of caught up on me. And today I'm really feeling it. Pretty keen to do another kilometre. It's amazing how far you can actually make yourself run. I know. Like, I want to beat what I got last year. Which I got the 35 last year. Before the last leg from Karanda to Coffs Harbour, the runners enjoy lunch in the park where they psych themselves up for the last leg to the jetty. I think the most rewarding thing is just knowing that you've touched the end of the jetty and that all the money's there and it's going to the worthy cause and, and you've done all you could throughout the year. The best thing about finishing Coast Run is hanging out with your mates at the end, having some drinks at the jetty and uh, going for a swim. This is the third time I've welcomed the runners and I'm very enthusiastic. I think we've proved that we have come together as a team and it's been successful with the amount of money that we've raised. It's been a great two days and, and we've raised a lot of money. We support a number of different initiatives, but this sort of thing's great. It's uh, just very positive for the whole community. You tend to bond more when you're all going through stressful conditions. So. And you get to know people that you've not known before. The fact that it's for a really good cause really helps and makes everyone less grumpy when they're injured or they got really sore feet or they got sore back. And to be put in that situation with all these people really just strengthened I don't know what it was between us, but we all came out feeling like a real team. Everyone was helping everyone else. So, you know, you just feel a tap on the shoulder and you're like, oh yeah, okay, I'll keep going with you. And then you're running and you're running and someone else is struggling. And you're like, no, come on, come with us. The camaraderie that's shown between the students is probably the main thing. You know, the thing that brings the students all together, they're all dedicated to the one cause. We all have the capability to make the world a better place. Raising money for Children's Medical Research Institute is one of the best things I've done with my life. My favourite aspect of college life is the run, the two days. It's amazing. It's tiring, but it's so worth it. The best thing is you're saving lives. That was one of the best things I've ever done.